Hey there, Green Meadows families and friends, and welcome back to Zooming In on Green Meadows. This week, our special guest is Miss Best. Stick with us to learn more about her after the break. Good afternoon, Mrs. Best. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Uh, just hanging out with my tag kids here this afternoon. They're watching the uh, recording, but they can't hear your answers. They'll have to wait till Friday for that. So Sounds good. I hope you are excited to be part of this. I know you were a little bit nervous, but just like everybody else that was nervous during this, it's going to be totally fine. And it's going to be an exciting uh, conversation and people are going to learn a lot about you. So the way that this works, <clears throat> we have uh, one question about Green Meadows and kind of your history here. And then we have five or six questions about uh, just random things. Um, I use the internet a lot to help me come up with these questions. And then at the end, if you'd like to say anything to our community or students or staff members that are watching, you can say that to them then. So does sound good? Sounds great. All right. Well, if you're ready, let's get into the questions. The first one is just about Green Meadows. Could you tell us uh, your history here at Green Meadows, kind of how you found out about us and anything uh, pertinent to your position? Yeah, this will be my fifth year here at Green Meadows. Um, I found Green Meadows just with a random search. I moved uh, to Indianapolis with my fiance. His job took him to Indianapolis, so I followed okay. him. And I was looking for a job in Indiana, and I just randomly came ac across Green Meadows, and I'm really thankful that I did. So this will be my fifth year, and I teach fifth grade at Green Meadows. Awesome. Yeah, we're definitely glad you ran across us as well. So you keep our team on our toes and our good leader on our in our group, and it's just uh, exciting to have you as a part of our team. Uh, that takes care of our Green Meadows background. So if you don't mind, let's get into some of these random questions. <clears throat> Uh, the first one is kind of a fun one. What is your favorite movie or TV show to quote from at random? Your favorite movie or TV uh, show that you like to quote from? Um, Finding Nemo, especially with, with, with my students. I find Finding Nemo an easy one to pull from. I can see that being very useful. Uh, yeah. Uh, give give us... I probably need like a Dory meme in our classroom. Right now I have a SpongeBob meme. And if you're in my class, they know what the SpongeBob meme is. So <laughs> I think Dory is pretty relatable yeah. myself at times, the students at times, and just makes everyone laugh. I'm sure when we're giving directions or going over a new topic, there's quite a few people that have some short-term memory loss, just kind of like her. <laughs> Including <laughs> myself. If I don't write it down, it's gone. Yeah, for sure. All right. Very cool. Um... I could eat lunch with you quite often, but uh, our students and families don't. What is the strangest food combination that you enjoy to eat? And when did you start eating that? Um, I, su I suppose the strangest that people tell me is strange. I don't find it strange. Is <laughs> I like to put barbecue sauce on everything. So probably having eggs and bacon with barbecue might be strange to some people. That honestly doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. Um, when I was a kid, we would always have uh, bologna and cheese sandwiches at our babysitter's house, and we would always put potato chips on them. That was one of our things that yeah. some people enjoy that crunch, and some people cannot handle the fact that those even go on there. So, yeah. Yeah. But uh, barbecue on everything is definitely something I've seen you do for sure. Yeah. <laughs> at, at lunch, Jimmy John's, you know, the barbecue chips go on the sandwich. So there that you might, go. Be weird, might be weird to people too. Miss Best coaches so many different sports here at Green Meadows that I doubt she needs any more Wolf's clothing. But maybe she could use a Green Meadows backpack from our BSN sports store. Click the link below if you would like to purchase one as well. Uh, all right. So what is a habit that you picked up from your parents? A habit that you picked up from your parents? Okay. Um, I guess maybe my cleanliness, my mom would be proud. Like when she comes to my house, I, you know, it's clean, the dishes are done. So I think just like keeping the room clean would be something I picked up for my parents. Very cool. That's, that's, care, I wish I had that habit. Taking care of the things that you have and yeah, just taking care of what you have. Yeah. Uh, I think I got from my dad when we would get involved in an activity, we would make sure that we had everything you needed for that activity before we actually figured out if we were any good at it. Yeah. So I like 
get all of the things like brand new shoes or, you know, <laughs> golf clubs. I've got to have good <laughs> golf balls, even though I'm no good at golf. And then I end up just be like, oh, well, you know, I, at least I looked the part, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's so all that's, about, yeah. that's kind of how he uh, handled all of the activities we were in. So very good. Okay. Uh, if you could ask your past self one thing, what would you ask that person? What would you ask yourself from the past? I'd probably ask myself, do you ever think that you would end up in Indiana, <laughs> living in Indiana? I never pictured myself living in Frankfurt either. So yeah. I, uh, I had never heard of the town until I got my job here, kind of like you. I just uh -huh. stumbled across it during an interview session and things worked out and I've been here ever since. So yeah, huh. yeah. Uh, knowing where I was going to end up would definitely be a good question to ask myself in the past. Um, okay. If money were not an object, what outrageous luxury would you add to your home? We know it's weird the first time you see yourself on camera, but Miss Best has assured us that she is subscribed to our channel and will watch her video. You should make sure you have clicked that red button as well so you don't miss any of our future videos. Mm. Um, I would say either an indoor basketball court or a rooftop hot tub. <laughs> I that know you definitely outrageous. One, yeah. I guess I'd probably go more with the rooftop outdoor hot tub. Interesting. That's not something I would have thought of. Now, I'll be honest, mine is also outrageous. I don't have a basement and I used to have a basement at my parents' house, but I like my house. I would really like to just jack up my house and dig a basement under it, but it's just not practical at all to do that. So, <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be outrageous too. Okay, and a roof level hot tub. Interesting. It would definitely cost plenty of money. There's a lot of structure you'd have to do for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that brings us to the end of our random questions. But before we go, there's always time for uh, our guests to say things that they might want to share with the students that are watching or families or any community members. Did you have anything you'd like to say to any of those people? I just like to say thank you to everyone that I've met here at Green Meadows, every student, every parent teachers I've worked with, you have all made Green Meadows such a special place to me. And I hope everyone has a great rest of the school year, third graders, fourth graders, and fifth graders, and getting ready for middle school. So let's finish out the year strong together. Yeah, for sure. We need a strong finish, don't we? The fifth mm -hmm. graders have a lot to live up to to finish out this year and get ready for middle school. And those third and fourth graders are definitely looking forward to what they've got next year. So mm -hmm. very good. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today, Miss Best. We really appreciate it and taking your time out of your evening. I hope we didn't keep you too long. Uh, with that, we are going to look forward to who we've got next week. So thanks again for joining us. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.